Use pre-delay in your reverbs to give a sense of depth in your mixes rather than using differing amounts of reverb or different reverbs. And set that pre-delay in the mix. Don't solo the channel you're working on. You need a point of reference and that references the other tracks in your mix. You don't want to hear the pre-delay, you want to hear the effect it's having on the sound and the perception of depth that you're getting from it. Generally, sources will sound more upfront with a longer pre-delay and further back with a shorter one. This is because if someone is talking to you two meters away in a large reverberant space, you'll hear their direct voice before that sound has had a chance to travel away from them, hit the reflective surfaces in the room, and then head back to your ears. If, on the other hand, they're over the other side of the room, your ears will hear the reverberation generated by their voice in the space a lot sooner, and your brain will decode that along with other psychoacoustic effects, letting you know that they are further away. Our brains are very good at this as it's basic survival stuff. You need to know if the hungry lion you can hear but can't see is six feet away or a quarter of a mile. So play around with pre-delay on the same reverb applied to different tracks in your project to see just how far you can push something back or bring it forward in a mix. Thanks again for watching. Hit subscribe, ding da ding dong, and you'll see us tomorrow.